My name is Ed Brown. Uh, me and my wife are the proprietors of The Snug. My role is pre pretty much owner, president. I run day-to-day -day operations, um, and this will be our 18th year in business. The original family, the Dunn family, had had it probably 35 years before us. So the, uh, the building was built in 1815. So that's pretty much three years after the War of 1812. So that tells you a little bit about the building. Uh, the Dunn family is a Hingham family who my wife grew up with. And uh, I believe I'd say about 35 years prior to us. Uh, it's a big Irish Catholic family and so this was, uh, their, this was their spot for quite a while and it was kind of the town local. I think it's unique because it's a family environment. You can come in here and not know anybody and within 10 or 15 minutes you'll be talking to a mailman who's your local mailman or you might see you know a local celebrity or a local sports star or you know we have federal judges that come in here. It's, a, it's a kind of a, a wide range of, uh, of, of clientele so it's kind of unique because you get it, it's almost like Hingham's Cheers. It sounds cliche, but that's kind of what it is. You can come in and within 10 to 15 minutes you feel real comfortable. One thing we wanted to make sure was um, when we first started was really uh, pouring the perfect pint of Guinness. So we've had some nice accolades over the years from Guinness, the Golden Pint Award. Uh, but when we first started back in 2000, January of 2003, uh, I was invested in a European draft system, which uh, enabled us to really adjust the CO2 and nitrogen properly and really pour a perfect pint of Guinness. And so that's kind of one of our claim to fame is the perfect pint, home of the perfect pint, I should say. Considering last year's challenges, uh, you know, with COVID-19 and the pandemic, um, we were able to pivot because we're small. Uh, we, we have a, a skeleton crew we work with. We were able to do takeout right away. Luckily, we were able to come to an agreement with the MBTA to be able to put our outdoor patio outside. Uh, they were very nice to us. Um, so it was an agreement between the T and the, uh, the town of Hingham. So we were able to have 24 seats out there starting last year, July 4th weekend. So that really saved us in the summertime. Um, you know, people were hesitant to come inside. Even when you're allowed to come inside, people, now they're better, but back then the people wouldn't want to come inside. Even though we renovated everything, HVAC systems all brand new, everything sanitized, but people want to be outside. So having that option of being able to sit outside was a big plus for us last summer. And believe it or not, people sat out there in the wintertime. Our customers are real loyal to us. So they came and they supported the local businesses, not just us, but all the businesses in town. And it was really refreshing to see old faces, but also we got a lot of new faces who came down to support local. And that was the community aspect of it, which really kind of, it gave us a lot of hope that we could get through that year. I mean, again, we're coming out of it right now, but you know, it was a long year for everybody. Um, but I think um, the community really came together and that's what really solidified um, a lot of businesses because people came, they supported us, they spent money and they, they shopped locally and that was huge for us. I, I just like to say that um, we're appreciative uh, of what you know this past year has entailed for everybody. And I think it's like a breath of fresh air to kind of see people out and about again. And uh, I look forward to the next few years. Um, I think this summer is going to be excellent. I think um, at the end of the day, we learned a lot. I mean, about our businesses, about ourselves. Uh, what can we do better? Uh, how can we tweak things a little bit or pivot and uh, you know make our business better? And I think a lot of businesses did that. They kind of had to reevaluate kind of how they did business. Um, you know, we had to adjust to a 300% increase in takeout. And you know, uh, we upgrade a lot of our uh, equipment, a lot of our software. Uh, we were able to learn things that you know, again, unless you kind of push sometimes, you don't really make that change. So for us, uh, we learned a lot uh, from this past year, and we look forward to uh, you know, as everyone does, to the, the years coming up. My name is Ellen Nally Brown and I'm the owner of the Hingham Greenery in downtown Hingham. We have been here for 32 years. We were down on South Street for about 10 years and we've been downtown Hingham for probably about 22 now. I actually purchased Hingham Greenery from another woman who owned the shop for almost 20 years. So the actually the 
this store has been in business for about over 50 years now. I was working in Boston wearing a blue suit every day and it just wasn't for me. So um, when I had first met my husband Ed, he suggested that we go look at the flower shop that was for sale down the street. And I thought, that's crazy. And here we are 32 years later. So it's been really fun. We have a huge selection of fresh flowers that we basically focus on mainly, but we also have a good addition of beautiful silk flowers. We sell lots of wreaths and plants and holiday items. We do weddings and we do sympathy work. We do events, all kinds of graduation parties, you name it, christenings. We can pretty much do it all. So we're, we're pretty busy doing events, lots of events. I think you get a really unique experience here. I think you're not gonna find a, a flower shop like this anywhere on the South Shore. We really have a lot of great products. Um, the flowers are spectacular and we really try to, we go the extra mile to, to try to make it a special uh, event instead of just some kind of you know website thing that you don't really know what you're ordering. It's just changed so much over the years and I personally am a toucher feeler. I don't want to order something online and have it come in a box. I like to go shop, try something on, you know, support your local businesses that, you know, and we all try to support each other. And I just think the, unfortunately, the way of the world it's going is everything's online now and it's just not the same. You don't get the same experience. We're kind of busy on the block here. <laughs> My husband and I um, opened the Snug restaurant 18 years ago and it's right around the corner from here and we actually live around the corner from that so it's kind of nice that we get to do all of our stuff right here downtown and it's always always something's always going on so it's been very exciting over the years and we have so many nice customers again we've been doing this for a long time and a lot of our customers are repeat people and you get to know them over the years and um, you know we've done their weddings and now we're doing their children's weddings and it's just kind of a small nice community like that so that's kind of uh, been really fun over the years to see the everything you know people growing up and it's very nice that you get to you know get to know all your customers and you know what they like and you know what they what they're needing and what they're wanting so it's been fun and I just think Hingham downtown is just it's an amazing little town there's not too many places like this left I think and we really try to everyone tries to support each other here and keep things going so that's been a big plus for me. I think this business this year has been through so many changes that it's 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 crazy. Um, we only closed for eight weeks when, in March, and fortunately we were able to open for that Mother's Day. Um, it was very short notice, and we were all kind of caught in a panic because Mother's Day is one of the biggest holidays. As it turned out, last Mother's Day was probably the biggest holiday we've ever done because nobody could see each other, so it really kind of took on a life of its own. And I think we have been extremely busy ever since this has happened. I think because people can't see each other and they miss each other and it's kind of like a nice way to, you know, let your mom know you're thinking about her or your sister or so. That's been uh, a good positive thing for us here. So it's been very busy. Well, we just appreciate all the support that we've gotten downtown Hingham. It's been really amazing. And unfortunately, some towns didn't do as nearly as well as we've done here and most everybody's still here, which is just so awesome to know. We've been very, very thankful for that. <laughs>